All right, welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at the TD KV1 hi-hat pedal. Now, this is about six and a half, seven years, going on seven years that I've had this pedal. And for the last 12 months, I've had it in storage. And I've noticed that the hi-hat pedal, the HHC, no longer recognizes any triggers or samples to the module and I get no foot tapping or closing of the hi-hat with this pedal any longer. And that little rubber bit in there is the culprit. It goes really, really hard. It loses its elasticity and flexibility and it no longer functions. So let's get it off and I'll show you what they recommend to do and what I recommend you do. So let's have a look. Let's get this thing off. I've already had this apart, but just for the sake of showing you guys, I'll do it again. And it helps when you've got the right tools, which I don't, but we'll work it out. There we go. So we'll get the pedal off. Now the spring is held in place with the screw, so let's get that out. Should be able to get that out now. Come on, there we go. All right, let's get rid of the pedal. And we're left with the innards. And there's the rubber actuator. And you might have already spotted what I've done to it. And it does work, but just for you at home. This is the problem. It's hard as a rock and it doesn't have flexibility anymore. Hence it doesn't bend down, touch those contacts and register uh, within the uh, module. So you get no closed hi-hat or any hi-hat uh, whatsoever to do with the foot pedal. Um, the way to fix that is you can see, you get a knife and you put some slices in the rubber and that makes it flexible again, although it's not really. This is a temporary fix and it should last you for, well, until you get a replacement, but it should last you uh, sometime you just got to be careful not to go too deep with the knife like I've done in spots let me get a better background here so you can see you can see in spots there I've gotten a little bit too aggressive with the knife and it's made quite it's almost halfway through that probably will not last long whatsoever before that completely just goes through but to get you out of trouble yeah it definitely works it's not a permanent fix however this is a permanent fix, a brand new one. Now, I picked this up while I was waiting for this to arrive in the mail, a brand new replacement. I did this temporary solution, which was to slice it up to get some flexibility, and it works good. But I can now get rid of that. It's hard as a rock, whereas this new one is nice and pliable, flexible, beautiful. So let's get this one installed. And before I get started, I just put a bit of uh, silicon spray in here, so I'm just going to clean all that up. But that's good enough. All right, let's get this thing, put it in. Screw it down. Beautiful. Very pliable, very soft, very flexible. It's going to register those hits beautifully. All right, let's get this thing back on, the foot pedal. Make sure the tag's in there, lock it in. Sorry, this is a bit fiddly. There we go. Once you've done that, you can then put your heel screw through, secure that in place, or the foot pedal, and screw it on. Lock it into place. There you go, that's it. So I've just installed the new one, and that old one that I put all the slits and cuts on the top of it with, I will throw away because that's what it's good for, nothing. 
All right, time to put it back on that guy over there. And we should be back in action. So there you go. That's what I did to temporarily solve the problem of my hi-hat not working until I got the brand new one installed and delivered and installed. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Bye.